Welcome back to the channel where we discuss the creative uses of AI and I've got so much exciting stuff to share with you, especially if you happen to be an aspiring AI filmmaker or storyteller. If you've watched this channel for a while, you know I'm a big fan of the open art platform because they are truly becoming closer and closer to being an all-in-one tool. They've created some essential tools for AI filmmakers and they've even got an opportunity for you to win some cash and prizes. Let's talk about that first. If you pop on over to the open art website, you'll see right along the top here, join contest to win a total prize of $15,000. That's what 15K means. This is a contest that they're running in association with Minimax, the creators of all of those great Hilua models. You probably probably know that Hilua has recently released the version 2 of their model. This contest gives you an opportunity to use the tools over at OpenArt to create content that can actually win you prizes. I won't go too in-depth in it here because you all are perfectly capable of looking at this yourself, but things like best music video, best explainer video, best character story, and if you've watched the channel recently, you know that these are tools that are all built into the platform. Best story using the storyboard, the most viral, and then OpenArt chooses a favorite, and then Minimax chooses a favorite as well. Definitely click here to get all of the details on the the contest, such as the dates, and this actually started on August the 25th and runs through September 7th. And anyone who participates in this contest gets five free video generations with the Hilo model, and they can run the Story Maker one time. And if you have or upgrade to one of their advanced or ultimate plans, you have unlimited video credits using Hilo for the entire two weeks of the contest. So if this is something that interests you, go through and check this out. Make sure you're paying attention to all the rules and guidelines about what you can and cannot enter, and have fun. If you haven't yet played with the version two of the Hilo model. I'll show you some examples here and the prompts used to create them. <laughs> it specializes in complex movements like this, like climbing over the fence and then the horse comes up and then petting on the nose, running through the aisles. Again, all of the prompts are under here if you want to pause and look at them. I love doing disaster films, if you will, and this Hilo model does a fantastic job of doing things like earthquake earthquakes. We've got the ground opening up, we've got waters flooding, electrical stuff, and all of the sound, by the way, is generated automatically on the Open Up Art platform. There's just a switch you click, and then sound will automatically be generated to your videos. And you can use it or not, but I generally like it. And something like this, it does a fantastic job because doing all that with Foley would be a long time. This is uh, using those, you know, tr doing the whole glass thing, and we've got some action here, explosions with the very specific movements of the prompt and direction. Here we've got this tsunami wave forming as she is running towards it. Again, more complex movement here. We've got this girl doing a handstand with simply a prompt. Later I'm going to show you an example with first and last frames to do this, but it followed the prompt to do that. Here we've just got some creatures playing in the forest and taking selfies with each other so you can see you can do all kinds of fun styles, even animated styles. Back to the city where there is more disaster, but this time in the future, we've got the buildings falling down, we've got the floor opening up, and people screaming in chaos, and it's just so much fun. Here are two different versions of the same image to video. We started with the same starting frame, and then gave it this prompt about the giant tornado, and just let it do its thing twice. Let's say you've recorded something amazing, and you want to extend it past whatever time limitation there might be on the native video file. Well, that's where some new features come in. We've got this grab frame to video. So whenever you click to see one of your videos, you're going to get this pop up here and you'll be able to reuse your settings, which would put everything back here in the generation window so that you can tweak it. So the common way to extend videos is to take the last frame of the video and then make it the first frame of your next generation. But that can be a cumbersome process if it's not automated for you, which now it is. We have this option here, grab frame to video. If we click that drop down here, we can just click on grab last frame and it's going to take it right here in the video generator ready for you to give it a further prompt. For example, tornado grows even larger and live cows start being thrown out from the center of the funnel. This creates a new animation that starts where the other one left off and now we have the tornado getting larger and throwing live cows out of it. And then we can just continue to do that and string all the videos together in an editor to have whatever length we want. And then of course it wouldn't be complete without this. And to create any of these videos using the Hilo model, you can use text to video or you can use image to video and you'll find that right here in the video section. Using image to video for an example, you can drop any image that you have on your hard drive or you can refer to the history and use any image that you've created on the platform. Give it a prompt. In this case, the camera is just pushing in on him as he is staring at the camera and doing a little writing with his hand. If I wanted sound to be automatically added, I would click on auto sound. Then I choose the duration and the resolution I want. And then I end up with this. 
Text to video would be the same way. We just click that tab there, type in a prompt like, oh, I don't know, they're highly technical bank safe that takes up most of the wall and the room has cameras mounted everywhere and there's a guard, etc. And get something like this. or whatever you can think of to type. So again, check out the rules of the contest, see if it's something you'd like to do, and best of luck. Now, the other big news in AI video this past week, Kling released the ability to do start and end frames with their very good 2.1 model. To use this model, you begin with a first frame image and then an end frame image. And what's great about this particular model is you can give it extremely different images, completely different locations, and somehow it combines these things together and it's also fantastic at morphing. Let's see some examples. So I've added the start and end frames to these videos so that you can see how different they were sometimes and what Kling did to accomplish this amazing feat like we had the pirate ship going this way, a completely different pirate ship over there, and then the fight ensued. He's looking straight, he's looking to the side, and it makes this wonderful camera around. She's in two totally different rooms here, and it somehow joins them together seamlessly. We have the bear with one family, and then he walks seamlessly in the same location to another family right next to them. Here we've got very different images. He's in an office and this is a child's bedroom and it worked just perfectly. Here we have two different versions of taking off a mask to transition from one woman to another. This woman is sitting in a chair in one location and now she moves over to a completely different location but it makes it look like one. And here's the handstand with the start and stop frame so we can control exactly what it looks like. Here we've got the man walking towards you. The second image is walking completely away and the turnaround is, trend, is, is seamless. And we started with a, a bottle here and then the man there and he walked up and it created the entire animation. And I mentioned how well it morphed from one object to the other. Here's the first frame, here's the second frame, and here's what it did. amazing. The next thing you should be extremely excited about, especially if you, you know, care about the quality of the output of your video, is that OpenArt has added a video upscaler, but not just any video upscaler. It is the Topaz video upscaler. And if you know anything about this, they are pretty much the industry leader. And if you never pull the trigger on buying Topaz for yourself, this is an opportunity for use it only when you need it. In addition to the upscaling that can go all the way up to 4K, you can also add frames to make it even smoother. Here's an example with the tornado videos. It's a little hard to tell when and it's this far up, so we've got another take here where we zoom in a little bit, but you can probably tell the smoother frame rate with the 60 frames per second, and depending on the screen that you're looking at, you might be able to tell the resolution difference. It's a lot more obvious here, everything's more smooth over here, and there's more detail in the close-up images. You really see the low frame rate over here, and the lip sync is a little bit janky, but over here it is smooth as butter. Now you might say, hey Bob, that lip sync was pretty impressive. Yes, and they've added even more ability along those lines with the addition of Eleven Labs voice generation. Now you can have the natural sounding voice quality of the Eleven Labs model generate with all the same controls you have on the Eleven Labs platform. In this case, my prompt was, you know, when I wrote this document, I meant it as a joke. I showed it to Tom and he showed it to the other guys. And for whatever reason, they didn't get the joke. And part of me wants to say something, but the other part is just gonna keep its mouth shut. And that generated this. When I wrote this document, I meant it as a joke. I showed it to Tom. And so on. And from right here in these three little dots, you can say use for lip sync and just click that button and it takes it right over here under the audio tab in the video section with the lip sync already here. You'll just need to click on the lip sync and then choose the video that you want to put the lip sync on. Now I had generated this video here with just the man looking at the camera and writing without saying anything because I knew I was going to add lip sync on top of it. So I would just go to my generation history choose that particular video, and then I can click Create. You know, when I wrote this document, I meant it as a joke. I showed it to Tom, and he showed it to the other guys, and for whatever reason, they didn't get the joke. Part of me wants to say something, but the other part is just going to keep its mouth shut. And this is late breaking, meaning after I'd already finished the video and sent it off to my editor, Open Art just today has added the much talked about Nano Banana model. It's similar to Flux Context in that you are editing via chat 
and text prompts. So if I throw in AI Tracy and AI Bob and say Dutch angle close up of a man and woman sitting together on the beach wearing bathing suits looking down at the camera, we get something like this. And the likeness is very true to the images that went in. I used OpenArt's character creator to make this guy a character. This is actually based on a Snapchat filter. Once that character was created, I made an image of him doing push ups on the gym floor. And if I bring that one picture of him on the floor into Nano Banana and say Tom Cruise joins the man on the floor and does push ups next next to him, we get Tom Cruise on the floor doing push-ups next to him. Same idea here. I actually used the picture of him on the floor doing push-ups. I added the Bob Doyle Media logo in there and said close-up of man frowning is in a purple recording studio pointing at the Bob Doyle Media logo on the wall. And that is this image here, which I love. Using these text prompts to edit your image creates consistency among all of them, which makes them perfect for start and stop frame videos. So if we start with this video, the man is hanging by his fingers off the ledge of a tall building view from above. And then I just prompt, he has a scared expression and the camera is a little closer so that we see more of the city. I take that image, put it back into Nano Banana, and say the man is being snatched off the ledge by a giant butterfly. Then I take that image, bring it back into Nano Banana, and say the man is carried off by the butterfly hanging below the butterfly that is holding the man with its legs. Here I wanted to make the resulting video more interesting, so I wanted a side view. So using that last picture as the starting point, I say side view of the man is carried off by the butterfly hanging below the butterfly that is holding the man with its legs. We clearly see the butterfly's entire body from this new view. And here's the butterfly's body right here, although it has human arms. So now I use that same side view image as a starting point, bring it back into Nano Banana, and give it the prompt. The butterfly is about eight feet off the ground and has released the man who is now standing beneath the butterfly. He actually deposited him on the top of a building, which gave me another idea of how to end this video. So taking this image back into Nano Banana, I said replace the city with the ocean, except for the building the man is standing on. It did leave one behind him too. But then I got the idea that I want him holding a product, which is another popular use of the Nano Banana model. So I put in a Bob Doyle Media logo and set an elegant blue and purple glass bottle of perfume labeled Bob Doyle Media in the general shape and colors of the Bob Doyle Media logo on a white background. So now I have this. So now I have the image of him on the building, the perfume bottle, and I have a closer image of him just to get more detail because this is a pretty small picture, but I want the background to stay consistent. So I say a close-up shot of the man standing on top of the building holding up a blue and purple perfume bottle. So now we have this. Finally, I want him holding the bottle nice and close up like it's ending a commercial. So again, then using the picture of the perfume bottle and the original picture of the man, I say a close up shot of the man holding up a blue and purple perfume bottle with his hand wrapped around the bottle and the other arm down by his side, clouds in the background. And this is the image I ended up liking. Now back in the video module using Kling 2.1 as an example here for start frame and end frame, I would just choose my start frame of the man smiling on the ledge. And then the end frame for that particular video is him being upset. Once that video is rendered, I would flip this so that now the start frame of the next segment is the last frame of the last one. Then I click end frame here and add a new end frame, which would be where the butterfly picks him up. Put it all together and this is what you get. So you've got a contest that's going to give you unlimited generations with the Hilo 2 model. You've got the ability to take your start and end frame videos to a whole new level with the Kling 2.1 model. You've got video upscaling from Topaz and you've got quality lip sync. All of this is working together to make open art an even easier place to stay for your entire project pipeline. If these are the types of technologies and tools you like to stay up to date on, well, why not subscribe to this channel? Because this is what we talk about all the time. If you subscribe now, I will not look for you. I will not pursue you, but if you do not, I will look for you, I will find you, and I will...